What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the Modern King. Let's get straight into it. I actually think that men need to toughen up, and I think if yeah. men were forced to be homeless, they would learn how to be better men. 50-50 divorces aren't fair. Stay-at-home moms should be given 100% of everything in divorce and should be awarded alimony for life. Make men worship you. It is all men until proven otherwise. I actually think that men need to toughen up, and I think if yeah. men were forced to be homeless, they would learn how to be better men. Say what? what? Because that's what made men manly in the past was having to build houses and stuff. Mm -hmm. And stuff. <laughs> stuff. Yeah. And things. That's not what made men manly. If we just made men be homeless for like a year, I think it would fix a lot of problems. That would be society. so good. Especially because we're not, we, we don't force men to do military anymore like they used yeah. to. They make them homeless for no, a year. We are under the law of military conscription, so we still have to be in the draft. What are you talking about? Let's see how they fucking, yeah, make them just figure it out. What? No, they can't be serious. And make them homeless in a country where they don't know the language. And oh, that yeah. way they really, they really have to go through something and then maybe they can like be appreciative. Wait, so what if we apply that same logic to women to toughen them up a little bit and give them a good dose of the reality that they actually live in? You know, take their rights away for a year so they can actually understand how not oppressed they really are in this country. Oh, wait, that probably wouldn't go over very well, would Lady it? Lady J's no. goaded. But, then again, hearing stuff like this come out of some women's mouths does make me really appreciate how some can actually perceive women as illogical and irrational. You know what's funny? The same women who wow. say these types of things are the same ones that think roads magically build themselves. And like Lady J said, if we use their own logic against them, they would have a meltdown about it. Oh, no doubt they would. 50-50 divorces aren't fair. Stay-at-home moms should be given 100% of everything in divorce and should be awarded alimony for life. Are you serious? First, a little alimony bit. Alimony for life? Oh, my God. Th these women are just going to have retirement plans of just being a stay-at-home mom for as long as they can until they're like, you know what? I'm sick of it. I want to go back into the streets. She's a runner. She's a track star. I want to go get on the wiener carousel, get some more men in me. <laughs> Like a like a like a hot dog line at Costco, get as many wieners as we can, and then I'll just take all of his money, and then I'll live off his money. That'll be great, right? Like, good lord. Data for background. We don't care. Remember, gentlemen, these women don't want to go 50-50 until it's time for divorce. Oh yeah. But sometimes 50% isn't even enough, and they want everything. Well, here, you have. Dude, here's what grinds my gears is that a lot of women out there would get mad and demonize a man for saying, hey, I'll come in and be 50-50 with you. Because here's the thing, right now you're paying 100% of your bills. So the fact that another person is willing to come into your life and say, hey, I will pay for 50% of all the things that you have, that is a blessing. You ladies should be screaming from the rooftops glad that there's another person in this world that would come in and take on half the financial responsibility of what you got going on. Because once again, those are all your problems. That's what's crazy to me. If somebody, let me know in the comments, because I know we have a lot of guys that watch. If a woman came up to you and said, hey, I want to take on half the financial responsibility that you have. Us men would be so happy. We'd be like, yes, come on in. 50%, I'll take it. But a lot of these ladies think 50% ain't even enough. They want 100% or nothing. Well, buy a dog, die alone. Simple as that. Half because it's so unfair that they have to get a job and be the strong, independent women they claim to be. It's wild to me, bro. 80% of stay-at-home moms have zero retirement, which is why elderly females are the most vulnerable. This kind of mindset is just a me, me, me mentality, and she's not in it for the we in the family dynamic. Facts. Because why the hell are you in a marriage if you're already thinking about your exit plan? For because real. thinking about your retirement or any money that you would have in case this man is not around or in case you get divorced means that you're already thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And you think about it enough, eventually you're gonna follow through with it. Facts. And why the hell would you be entitled to 100% when he's busting his ass every single day to give you everything that you want? And it's not his fault that you resent having children because you feel like you missed out on life. It's not his fault that you feel like you need to get paid for having his children. Do you see how selfish and delusional and entitled that is? He doesn't get paid for providing for you. He goes to a job. He misses milestones. He misses family events. He misses time with his family in order to give you what you need and you just want to take it from him. Facts. Like make it make sense. And imagine committing to somebody and telling them that you want to spend the rest of your life with them and committing to, to them in a marriage, but then 
Simultaneously, when you feel resentment and you're upset at your lifestyle, you want to destabilize him to take 100% of everything that you guys have built together. Crazy, bro. That's selfish as hell. And what kind of person are you to say to yourself, oh, I want this man to suffer because I'm suffering because I'm just a miserable ass human being. It's the That's whole tit for tat, nickel and diming, eye for an eye. It's such a toxic ideology in a relationship where you think, well, I'm giving this and then I need to get this. This is why I say women grow old, they never grow up because it's a childish nature. That is a kid's mindset when it comes to sharing. You know how you tell kids you have to share? Well, I'm sharing more than they're sharing and they're not sharing as much as me. Stop acting like a child. Be a grown up. Life is hard. Get a helmet. You know what I'm saying? Like these women got to realize that us as men, we're sacrificing a lot to provide a life of luxury or ho hopefully somewhat a luxury, right? You got the bills paid roof over your head, you got food in your belly, clothes on your back, that's a luxury. And did you know that if you make $30,000 or a year or more, like you already are in the top 1% globally. 30% or $30,000 a year or more, 1% globally. So what are we really complaining about here? That's not love, that's not compassion, that's not empathy. And are you really looking at the best interest of your family and your kids if you're trying to destabilize the other side of the fence? Facts. Like, be for real. And in terms of alimony, if men are expected to pay their way after a divorce, then you should only get alimony for one freaking year. Get your together, mm -hmm. grow up, get a job, make your own money and stop depending on a man that you hated so much that you decided to break your family up and leave it behind all for what? A freaking paycheck? Well, well dude, a lot of these modern women are they're they're wrecking their own homes as Kevin Samuels would say like they're going out there and they're incentivized by the government to wreck their own homes I'm so glad that uh, Governor DeSantis finally banned the lifetime alimony because that was crippling a lot of men these dudes were having to move states hire lawyers just to get some of their money back they worked their entire lives while the wife stayed at home and cooked and clean shout out to the women that do that <laughs> Shout out to the women that are the stay-at-home moms that, you know, are the nurturers of the family. They keep the culture alive. They cook, they clean, they organize, and they keep that family unit together because I believe a good woman makes a house a home, but at the same time, without a man's money, there is no home to make a house or there is no house to make a home. You know what I mean? So if women weren't incentivized to divorce these men, they would stay with them. If they didn't get any money after divorcing them, they would stay with these men. But the thing is... The, the law right now and as far as like how the court system deals with divorce is, is totally backwards. Well, congratulations. Now you actually have to go work and stop being a mooch and a late <laughs> wife and a human Stupid. being to someone that tried to take care of you and have a family with you. She's preaching. Here's a map of registered sex offenders in Los Angeles. All these individual little dots. You wouldn't take those chances in a hypothetical situation. That's a lot. So women aren't going to take those chances in real life. Huh? For women, it is all men until proven otherwise. While women can be on this list and it's possible, it's not as probable. And that's the point here. If the small percentage of women who do it upset you, then why wouldn't the large percentage of men who do it upset you too? Because you're not an advocate against assault. You're an advocate against women. That's exactly Tell me you hate men without telling me you hate men. <laughs> It's just these women right here, you can tell they've just been ran. She's a runner, she's a track star. And now the only way she can get back at the guys that have ran her through is just to say all men are terrible, all men are this, all men are that. Honey, it's it's okay. You live in LA, you couldn't find a man that would actually cuff you. You don't have to hate on all of us. Like, come on, I even on this channel, I don't hate, we don't hate all women. There's a lot of women in here that we praise and that are very based. But like women like this, like chastising all men, yeah, there's, there's some bad apples in LA, but like, that's everywhere, bro. Exactly what makes you good guys so dangerous. You really want to know why men are sick of hearing this message? It is because you said, quote, why wouldn't the large percentage of men upset you too? When men know, you know, we all know that it is not the majority of men. Thanks. Even when you run the numbers, look, I did a quick Google search and you guys can check me on this, but I found that there are 750,000 offenders in the U.S., Let's say about 75% of them are male because apparently Google says 25% are female. For a grand total of 562,000, the total male population I was about to say. is 165 million. million. When you do the math, that is 0.34% of males. So I think it becomes pretty clear that this message is purely to demonize men and doesn't really have anything to do with keeping women safe. Facts. Know that in the United States, one in three women feel really uncomfortable when you're in the apartment gym and a group of boys comes in when they can just go to the actual gym and never feel uncomfortable. I got to grow up in a little bit different time. <laughs> a time when men could have safe spaces, places to hang out, 
and work on whatever it is they wanted to work on without having to worry about women being around and doing what women do, making it all about them. Which is why they went about making sure that any gym that catered primarily or only to men was targeted and harassed until they accepted women, while at the same time insisting that it's perfectly fine to have women-only gyms. The primary argument, of course, being that it's safer for women to have women-only gyms, while at the same time Wait, arguing- aren't women the ones filming themselves with like yoga pants on that are all the way up their butt crack <laughs> with their boobs out? Like women are the ones doing that. Really? It's not a lot of men. Somebody want to carry it? You want to carry it, Lokes? Free. Wait. Free. Go to your place. For some of you guys giving me a hard time. Oh, Levi. He doesn't need just carrots. He needs, he needs meat. Dogs aren't vegetarian. I know. Stupid. His morning snack, is, which is in typically when I record, is a carrot. For lunch, he gets meat. Okay? So just chill out in the comments. I, I get so tired of having to charge people up with like, he's not a vegetarian, he's not a vegan. He needs meat. Trust me, I know. He gets meat for lunch. Doing that. They want to be able to go to men's gyms because, well, they aren't dangerous. Female logic for you, right? And men were generally accepting of it, and we managed to peacefully coexist for a few years. But that had to come to an end also. Because not only did women want to have women-only gyms, they wanted to ensure that they had first right of refusal on the co-ed gyms. Even going so far as to saying men shouldn't be allowed in them. And while they had some progress with that, it wasn't moving fast enough. They wanted to ensure that men weren't welcome in any gym. So they started using a new tactic, making shaming videos. They would set up cameras and start working out, taking hours and hours of video, waiting for that one guy that gave them a half second glance. And then they would post that video online, claiming the guy was ogling them and harassing them, all in an attempt to shame him. But not just him. I mean, all I'm gonna keep it a buck, dude. If I'm at the gym and I see you recording, I'm going to look at you because it just looks dumb. You look stupid. Why are you setting up a camera to do deadlifts? Why are you setting up a camera to do like RDLs or some other workout? Why, why are you setting up a camera? Unless you're a, unless you're a coach and your job is to film yourself and like make a fitness program, why are you just doing it to just bend over on social media? It's a thirst trap. Let's call it what it is. Let's keep it a buck. You're doing that to thirst trap and just put it on social media so other people like it. That's all it is. You're not doing it for any other benefit. Most of the time people film things in a sports setting to like learn from it, like football, they film. Then that way they can go back and look at film. Soccer, they can film, right? But working out, I mean, unless you're checking your form, but even then you could just ask somebody, hey, will you check my form for me while I do the squat or something like that? You don't need to film it, but these people film it and then they put it on social media. And it's always, it's always the people that shouldn't even be filming. <laughs> the ones that I see, at least. I'm like, you're not even that good a shape. Why are you filming? All men. All to make them afraid of going to the gym for fear of being doxxed online. They did and are doing everything to make the gyms as toxic for men as they possibly can so they can feel safer. I guess men feeling safe isn't part of the equation. No. So men got smart. They realized what was going on and retreated from the gyms. Decided to start working out at home which if you have a garage is very easy to do. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, it gets a little more complicated. Yeah. Fortunately, many complexes, apartment buildings, neighborhoods have gyms of their own, places yep. guys could go and work out without having to worry about dealing with women at the gym. Well, now they're looking to take that away. You know that in the United States, one in three women feel really uncomfortable when you're in the apartment gym and a group of boys comes in when they can just go to the actual gym and never feel uncomfortable? Well, let's start by saying that 100 out of 100 women love to make statistics up and spout them as if they're the truth. But in reality, it's just a fantasy see she created what's the, what's the quote it's like 75 percent of statistics are made up <laughs> <laughs> so it's like what are we really talking about here her mind but let's get to the heart of what she said which is that women feel uncomfortable when boys come into the gym unless you think this is a one-off video let me give you exhibit number two the pick me men have got to get out of the apartment gym the pick me men you mean the men that have happy healthy relationships Something which you'll never have because of your obvious toxicity? Okay. Please continue. I was just in the apartment gym and I was doing my thing, okay? I was 25 minutes into my lift. You know, I was doing like little baby curls and I was even going for like the lateral lunge, which I'm not that confident in. Oh my. So she did a few bicep curls and a few laterals. La-dee-freaking-da. There's nothing special about that. 
People do them every single day. And what they have to do with the rest of what you're saying, I don't know. But continue. Three men walk in. Oh my God. <laughs> like, kind of like 25. And I'm like, eh. Notice what she did there. They walked in the gym. They didn't say anything to her. They didn't do anything to her. And horror of horrors, they happen to be about 25. Ooh. Don't we know that the apartment gyms are for the girls? No, they're not. This is a beautiful example of the mindset today's modern women have. And why I say men should never trust a woman. Any woman. Because they're all capable of having this mindset. We can never know which ones will and which ones won't. And the ones that don't will often acquire it. Put another way, it's all women till it's no women. And if you have a problem with me saying that, let me remind you, Women have been saying it's all men till it's no men for decades, and nobody batted an eye about it. The reality true, and here's the thing. Most of the time, these women get mad because they're mid. Shots fired! Shots like, fired! You got mad because a bunch of 25-year-old dudes came in there and weren't looking at you. They weren't checking you out. They weren't ogling over you. And you got mad, therefore you're trying to shame them. Because, I mean, I, I mean, just look at, look at this girl, bro. She, she... <sighs> She beat it best. Shots fired! Shots fired! Looking like the Wicked Witch of the West. Stupid. I mean, like, she's not really all that. Nobody's writing home a postcard from Norway. Mom, I met this beautiful woman. She's absolutely gorgeous. Honey, nobody's doing that. And so she probably got mad because none of these guys were actually looking at her. So she's like, well, let me shame these men. There's nothing wrong with going to the gym. Honestly, if you want to work out at home, get some kettlebells. Nice and easy workout. Do some kettlebells. You can do a lot of workouts. You can do core. You can do upper body. You can do lower body. And get your 10,000 steps in a day. That's really all you need to do. I just don't understand this ideology of shaming men when we go to the gym. And it's like, we're all trying to better ourselves. It's like shaming a fat person for going to the gym. It's like, well, they're at least going to the gym. Like, why are you going to shame them for trying to make themselves better? It's like men are trying to make themselves better and go to the gym. But why are you shaming them? So it comes from, I think it comes from an, an, an intrinsic insecurity of hers of saying, I know I'm not that good looking. I know men aren't looking at me and I know I'm not getting the attention that I think I deserve. Therefore, I'm going to shame them because I feel like I'm not getting what I should get. It's a sense of entitlement. Whereas if she was super hot, guys would be looking at her and probably be like ogling her and she might even be like over it. But like caskets looked at the gym. Do you think she gets mad at it? No, she kind of sees it as like, yeah, they're looking at something good. People only look at good things. And I, and I believe there's a lot of hate out there, but usually people only hate on good stuff. Now, sometimes when I roast people, I'm just roasting everybody. Nobody's safe. <laughs> Nobody's safe. But I'm talking like genuine haters. People that are in the comments hating on you saying, you're horrible, you're an awful person. I hate what you talk about. Like, like, like for instance, our channel right here. 98%, I'd almost even say 99% of the comments I see are very uplifting, saying, leave, I keep doing this, keep preaching the gospel. Like, they're really a, a big proponent of what we're doing here. But then there's always that 1% of like, you're, you're, you're evil, you hate women, you're a misogynist. Like, no, I'm not. I love women. I'm, I'm pro-relationships. I'm pro-marriage. A lot of the people that do this type of content aren't. So it's just funny to me that people will come in and they, but I usually always, always tell Cass this, people only hate on good stuff. They're not going to hate on you if you're below them. They're not going to hate on you if you're at the bottom of the barrel. So these women are sitting there hating on these men because these men aren't giving her any attention and she wants attention from them. It's as simple as that. Or it might be because she's a big back, big back. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's the case. But if you are a big back and you're going to the gym, hey, shout out to you. Shout out to you for going to the gym and trying to get that uh, trying to get in your fitness. You know what I'm saying? Here's a good one. Here's a good one for you guys. I got a good one. If you if you're ever out with a girl, ask her, are you into fitness? I, I should. This one's horrible. This one's horrible. This one's horrible. Be like, are you, are you into fitness? And she's like, yeah, I'm into fitness. Fitness dick in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that one's terrible. That one's horrible. That one's absolutely terrible. I should have never even said it. I should have never even said it. Oh my gosh. Loki, that one was trash, huh? He's like, yeah, he agrees. That one was straight up trash. Oh man. Shout out to you guys. You guys have been awesome. Um, so I really do appreciate all the love and support. The channel's been growing like crazy. So mad love to all you guys. Make sure you cop the ebook in the description, the four pillars of personality and become a member. If you want to go check out other videos that are private, uh, I make them private after about two months. And so um, just to incentivize you guys to become members and also you get um, personalized emotes or emojis or whatever you want to call. Um, I've, I've got like four or five of them, um, but I'd love to see more 16s in the chat when we premiere these videos. And those are the halo levels for anybody wondering what you see next to somebody that is actually a member. It's one of the halo levels, the old school Halo 2 levels. But I really do appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, man.
Peace. Say bye, Lokes. Say bye. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.